Today it's time you heard some hard truths. You have asked us, the community, to engage with you on this long-term plan, to provide our opinions and our thoughts, and to look at ways that we, the community, can assist you, uh, can assist you in making, and I quote, the smart choices. I understand the issues facing this city, all of us do. I'm not here to talk to you regarding asset sales or uh, rates rises. I sincerely hope that you have the capacity, ability, and nails to make these choices with respect to the fact that you, the public body paid for by the communities, are here to make the choices that work for the benefit of the communities that you represent. For over two years, two years now, the community in New Brighton has pushed, strained, worked together and begun to flourish in the face of adversity. The sad reality is that this is being done without your support, without your understanding or your engagement. I run the danger today in being called a carper and a mona. Once again, New Brighton is coming to you with issues and complaints. But I've tried, I really have, to work with you. I'm tired. We have provided solutions to the issues to assist the public body in assisting us, the community. But you haven't listened, you're not helping, and this budget reflects that. Do you have a plan, or do you have a strategy to move New Brighton ahead? These are rhetorical questions because I already know the answer. No, you don't. This proposed budget speaks volumes to these self-evident truths. You really haven't listened. You say that this time it'll be different. You want to listen, you want to understand. We will make formal submissions and deputations like we have for years and hope in vain that once, just once, you might actually hear us and understand us. For years now, in my professional capacity, we have engaged with your planners, your staff and you, the elected members. We've put internationally renowned experts in front of you, not to highlight the issues, but to provide you with solutions. We have demonstrated how you, the public body, can enable your master plan through a stage development process. We've gone to the extent of proving to you that this is cost neutral to the council through the extra rates takes and development contribution fees. But you still haven't listened, you haven't partnered. Through your PR teams, I'm sure you'll hit us back, you'll tell the public, but wait, we're putting $30 million into the Eastern Reckon Sports facility, look at us reinvesting in you. But that's not the truth. The previous facility was worth $160 million, but it was underinsured at $77 million, of which you took the lion's share to the CBD for the Metro Sports facility. It's called asset stripping. But wait, you say, we're putting money into a legacy project. How is that project coming along? We have lots of figures about roading and infrastructure, but you've got to do that work, guys. That's part of your insurance, and that's part of us living in the city. It's replacing what we pay for. Guys, you haven't even been able to clean toilets in New Brighton. You haven't been able to replace rubbish bins. You haven't been able to clean streets. Two years, two long and tiring years, we have lobbied you for the basics while looking at the bigger, bigger picture. Look to the budgets, your staff say. After all, without any money, nothing will occur. And look at where we are now. The most important budget for this city and New Brighton. And with a weak, and dare I say it, pathetic showing. You have wasted money, wasted money in ways I can't believe. Temporary stop banks in South Shore, which lasted for all of two weeks. The community told you it wouldn't work, you didn't listen. Pavement art in the mall, only to be destroyed two months later. I've seen ad hoc responses to issues in New Brighton with frivolous disregard to doing a job well. Measure twice and cut once is a philosophy that appears to be lost. Why are you not listening and why are you not engaging? Why is it for every step that this community takes forward we appear to be pushed back twice as hard? You've spent $500,000 on this master plan and to what end? The only actions you are budgeting is a road extension and that's it, no follow through at all. You've showed us plans for a new bridge on Pages Road, a gateway you said. Instead, we're lumped with a $500,000 plaster, temporary or so we're told. This is exactly what's been done for 25 years with New Brighton. It appears that there's a guilt payment every 10 years or so and hope in vain that this may appease us. Has it worked? Once again, the truth is self-evident. We're not asking for white elephants. We're not asking for shining knights and golden armor to save us. We're not even asking for you to lead the rejuvenation of New Brighton. We're merely asking you to walk and work with us, step by step and stage by stage. You simply don't share the vision of the community that you're there to represent. You have an opportunity to get it right, to address 30 years of social and economic decline, to light a beacon of hope on the East. We have the plan, we have the vision, and we've already begun. The foundations have truly been laid. The unprecedented growth and forward movement you might have seen over the last two years isn't a fluke. It's a hell of a lot of hard work and passionate work by many, many people for no personal reward. Do you even begin to understand this? Do you have a vision? Are you prepared to play your part or will you continue on this weak tangent? Do you see that the place that New Brighton can play in this city. Christchurch is a coastal city and New Brighton is that coast. You talk of resilience and grassroots movements. They appear to be empty bureaucratic words. I sincerely do not think that you understand that you have an exemplar of that in New Brighton. Just open your eyes, engage with us, those who are now begging, begging for you to work with us for a change. Stop kicking us while we're on our way up, guys. Right now, it's actually not helping. If anything, it appears that you're working against us. 
April the 1st marks the anniversary of New Brighton Borough joining with Christchurch City Council, and some are starting to wonder if it was a bad taste joke. Not only do I personally think that what is occurring is a moral injustice, but I also believe it's a social injustice. New Brighton isn't interested in East versus West arguments, or Sumner versus New Brighton. New Brighton is not interested in yours and the government's multi-billion dollar investments in the commercial core of Christchurch. We simply demand fair and equitable levels of service and investment through the public realm. Take note that these failings are not yours alone. To date, the engagement and participation of the central government and its agencies has been lacklustre to the extreme. Support mechanisms and crucial roles are there to be played, and yet we see and hear nothing. Do with us, not to us. Throughout my engagement and participation with CCC planners, our own consultants and investors, and most importantly, the community, we have a way forward. There are, many, there are many steps in this journey ahead, and I'm asking for you to play your part. If you continue on your current trajectory, you, and in turn we, will fail. This does not have to be the case. You are the roadblock currently. This has to change, and this budget has to demonstrate that. New Brighton is asking you to make a strategic investment with us. The yields and benefits to the greater city of Christchurch are all too apparent if you choose to open your eyes. I won't be taking any questions today. Rather, I urge you to think about what I've said and then come and talk to us. We will, of course, be filing official submissions. I hope you listen. I really do. If you'd like to know more about what we've tried to explain to you before, you know where to find us. We're at the end of the broken streets, the broken bridges, and the broken promises.